Let's start by plotting triangle ABC on the Cartesian plane. The base BC of the triangle lies on the x-axis and the midpoint of BC is the origin through which the y-axis passes perpendicular to the x-axis. We are given that distance BC is equal to 2A and therefore the coordinates of point C are A0 and the coordinates of point B are minus A0. Let's assume that the coordinates of the vertex A are HK. Join point B to point A and point C to point A to complete triangle ABC. Let's assume that the base angles of triangle ABC are theta and phi respectively. Now drop a perpendicular from the vertex A onto the x-axis and let the foot of the perpendicular be N. So the vertical distance of point A from the x-axis is K and the horizontal distance of point A from the y-axis is equal to H. Therefore, distance CN is equal to H minus A. Also, because the coordinates of point B are minus A0, therefore the distance OB is equal to A. Now applying Pythagoras theorem on right angle triangle ABN, we get AB square is equal to AN square plus BN square, which is equal to k square plus h plus a square. Similarly, applying Pythagoras theorem on right angle triangle ACN, we get AC square is equal to AN square plus CN square, which is equal to k square plus h minus a whole square. Now we are given that m times ab square plus n times ac square is equal to c square. Substituting the values of ab square and ac square, we get m times in brackets k square plus h plus a whole square plus n times in brackets k square plus h minus a whole square is equal to c square. This can be written as m times in brackets k square plus h square plus a square plus 2ah plus n times in brackets k square plus h square plus a square minus 2ah is equal to c square. This implies that m plus n times in brackets h square plus k square plus a square plus 2ah times in brackets m minus n is equal to c square. Now the locus of point A with coordinates hk is determined by replacing h with x and k with y in the above equation. Therefore, the locus of A is m plus n times in brackets x square plus y square plus a square plus 2ax times in brackets m minus n is equal to c square. And this is the required answer.